Hey, my name is Michelle and I'm a certified holistic nutritionist. Today I wanted to talk about the importance of water um, and how it affects our detoxification, our weight loss, and our stress. Um, and this is just to start off and what we can do and how much water we should be drinking to feel our best. So let's get started. So water is so vital to our health. It's something I'm constantly telling people to do whenever they ask me for advice. Um, they want to feel better. The first thing I ask is how much water are you drinking? And the vast majority of the time people are not drinking enough water. They have a couple of glasses a day and they wonder why they're feeling tired or not feeling their best or they have a little bit of weight and a lot of other symptoms can come from that. And so I always tell them to drink enough water. And so today I want to talk about a few reasons why it's important to drink water and what comes to mind is that essentially all our cells are made out of water. We're about 75% water. So that is the majority of who we are and water is needed to go in and out of cells to make sure cells have the right size and that things are just functioning well in our body. We need water to just be functioning normally. And once we get dehydrated or our water starts depleting, the functions of our body really start going down. Um, you know, you might get tired or a headache, but over long periods of time, other things start um, appearing. So today I'm going to focus on three things, why it's important to drink water um, in terms of detoxification, weight loss, and stress. So for detoxification, if we're not drinking enough water, we can think about that in for our body to detoxify, two main ways is through our urine and our feces, and they both require water. So if we're not drinking enough water, we're not going to be peeing enough and we're not going to release enough, you know, of the metabolites and toxins our body needs to release that way. And if we're not drinking enough water, what happens is that we actually can become constipated because the last part of the colon, um, you know, feces coming out of our body, the water that's in it, if our body's dehydrated, it's going to reabsorb that water and dry out our feces and making it hard and then that creates constipation that creates other issues in the bowels and then we can't go to the washroom we're not detoxifying we're actually just letting things sit in our system which isn't great so we want to be able to effectively release toxins from our body to feel our best there's a reason our body doesn't need those things those metabolites so that's a major reason to drink enough water just to get those those um, chemicals and metabolites out of our system. The second reason that I'm going to talk about is weight loss. And this can be usually a reason why people want to become healthier. They want to lose weight and they think it's calories and all of these other things, but it could be as simple as just water, knowing when you're thirsty. And so usually when our body wants water, it's thirsty, we feel the signal for hunger. Hunger kind of could be thirst or hunger for food. So we really need to tune into our body and maybe if we feel hungry, drink some water and see if that satisfies that hunger feeling. This is something I teach clients to who have like emotional hunger to figure out if it's a physical hunger. And then from there, is it really thirst or you need food? because if you're actually thirsty and you're eating, you're consuming a lot more food than your body needs and you might even be further dehydrating it depending on the types of food. And the last reason I'm gonna talk about why it's important to have water and there is like a million more, but stress. <laughs> um, so when our body essentially is not getting enough water to perform its regular functions, it is actually going to make the body more stressed because whenever we're not functioning optimally, it will put our body into a state of stress, a stress response in our body. And so it's sort of like dehydration creates stress, creates more dehydration. And so we actually, when we're stressed, we need more water. And that's just sort of a baseline. Um, I find if I am not feeling great, I'm feeling tired, um, my head starts hurting, that's a bit of stress on my body. If I drink enough water, uh, I'm gonna feel a lot better. And I mean a lot of water, almost a liter of water. It's not just you have a couple of sips of water when you're in a state 
of having a headache or feeling really um, tired, your body is really calling out for more water. And these are just the signals. I've told you three sort of um, results of not having enough water. Of course, there are so many others. Um, I'm gonna let you know how to have enough water. So the first thing I'm gonna say is when you wake up in the morning, you're most likely, I'm gonna say you're dehydrated. You've been sleeping for eight hours, hopefully, or not consuming liquids for a pretty long period of time. And just by our atmosphere in our homes, we're going to be releasing water through respiration. And also our bodies are going through different metabolic functions at night, clearing out certain things. So when we wake up, we need to sort of flush our system. So consume a lot of water. Really what I have myself do and clients do is drink about a liter of room temperature or warm water in the morning. And one of those glasses or a part of it is um, sort of hot water with lemon or, or warm water with lemon. And that just helps to flush out the system and rehydrate it. And I actually continue drinking more water until I feel true hunger. So again, it goes back to if you're feeling hunger, you might actually be thirsty. So if you wake up feeling you're starving, drink water and see if it's truly that you're hungry. So I have enough water until my first meal and I make sure my meals have more water containing vegetables, but I'm just gonna stick to the water right now. Um, and what I do with water is that I have a lot of water about 30 to 45 minutes before a meal and the same after a meal, 30 to 45 minutes after a meal. And I try to make it room temperature or a little bit warmer. And before a meal, it's important because we're hydrating our system. Our digestive system needs liquids in order to digest our food. And when we have too much water with a meal, it actually stops digestion and can create uh, digestive issues. And that's why having water about 30 to 45 minutes after is also recommended because we don't want to stop the digestive process. We want digestion to be effective. Um, and the breakdown of foods in the stomach to sort of go smoothly. And so I just do that throughout the day before and after meals, just trying to have water in between. You can add lemon, you can do ginger, maybe an herbal tea can, you know, but trying to get some pure water into your system. And I would say around two liters of water a day is what we typically say, but you have to look at your urine. So if it's more on the pale yellow you're doing well but if it's a darker yellow that means you need more water if it you're taking b vitamins it'll sort of be neon yellow so sort of take that into consideration but yeah in two liters i have way more than that and um so yeah you have to look at your life if lifestyle if you're working out if you're breastfeeding if you if it's summer if it's winter these are all important factors for water so I hope this video has helped you. Um, water is so important. It is the main thing. And I'm gonna do another video on quality of water because that's really important as well. But um, yeah, water is so vital to our health. If you think about it, we're 75% water. We really need to be drinking enough water. So again, I hope this video has helped you. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.